<laughs> I'm so proud of the opportunity I've had to work with the great folks in Fort John and the 10th Mountain Division. But as I've said repeatedly over the last 16 years, for all the importance that facility provides to our national security, it doesn't quite measure up if it isn't important to the economic development and support of this region. We have over 4,000 credibly dedicated civilian employees on Fort Drum who are not just collecting a paycheck. They are part of that team fighting for all of us each and every day. And it breaks my heart to see this national security personnel system that all of us thought was a way to respond to their special role and reward them for high performance. But I will tell you, Andre, this administration has turned into a way to simply take away the bargaining rights of the men and women who serve every bit as ably as the folks in uniform. My vote record shows I've tried to resist it. I've tried to reinstate the fact that unions, the right to organize, the right to collectively bargain, should be part of the American opportunity. And we need to do everything we can in every way we can to support those folks who go to places like Fort Drum and Fort Ord and Fort Carson and on and on and on and play a part of the team of those folks that are fighting, deploying in Iraq and Afghanistan to keep us safe. That keeps Fort Drum relevant nationally, but more importantly, it keeps it relevant economically here locally. I worked very hard for labor all of my life. I don't think there's a union in the state of New York that I haven't labored on behalf of. Uh, and I would just say that uh, the, the personnel, the civilian personnel that are appointed to Fort Drum certainly shouldn't do the same bargaining rights and advantages as other civilian personnel. Um, I have a concern about uh, you know, the privatization of the military. I have a concern primarily because of the uh, the no bid contract that was given to Brown Kellogg to uh, work in Iraq, uh, and which has cost the American citizens billions of dollars. Um, and, and that is the extent of my concern. I think that it, when you inject the privatization of the military uh, project into a war effort, you take the risk that the continuation of the war is solely for the purpose of generating profit for the corporation that's directly involved in it. And certainly in this instance, where it is universally agreed uh, at this point in time that we did not have a proper basis for entering Iraq. And with this contract uh, was given to uh, a company by whom the Vice President of the United States was directly employed, it should raise questions in everyone's mind about the privatization of Iraq. But I certainly support the right of the uh, individuals to organize and collectively bargain. Thanks.